As part of the promotion of the 43rd ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament, organizers had arranged a rooftop stunt, a vertical tennis court with some special abseiling ball boys. The challenge to try to get the ball boys to catch. Who better to attempt the spectacular than one of the ATP World Tour's real showman, Gael Monfils. The Frenchman had the added challenge of some gusting winds, making target practice a little tricky. Yeah, it was different, it was fun, actually, uh, you know, it was cool. We tried uh, something new, but uh, they haven't catch the ball, so I'm pretty disappointed. Oh, that was really close! Whilst Montfils couldn't quite hit the mark, step forward the old master and tournament director for Rotterdam, Richard Krychek. Krychek won the ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament in both 1995 and 1997, and he showed he still had a bit of the old magic left. I aimed completely wrong, but the wind helped, uh, so that was good. Yeah, I'm happy I'm on this side because uh, there were was talk about in the beginning I would be there trying to catch the ball, so I'm happy we decided that I'm just hitting the balls from this side. Yeah, so it's great, a uh, good way to start the tournament. Monfils was back on more familiar and certainly less windy ground as he warmed up for his first round match at the Ahoy Arena. The world number 18 would be up against Latvian qualifier Ernest Gulbis on centre court. In a battle of two of the tour's entertainers, the fans inside the Ahoy Arena were in store for a treat and it was Monfils' speed across the ground that earned him the go-ahead break. Got him. Again. And Monfils Monfils. breaks. After Monfils claimed the opener 6-4, Gulbis' temperamental nature came to the fore as he gifted the Frenchman Again. a break of serve. Monfils. Gulbis boils over and that one's going in the bin, I think. With the Latvian at odds with himself, Monfils took full advantage. And the number five seed cruised into round two in straight sets. And this time, he converts with the cheekiest of forehands. Disciplined performance from Gael Monfils. Number four seed David Goffin had yet to taste victory here in Rotterdam after first round exits in 2013 and last year. The Belgian was hoping for a better outcome when he met Marcus Bagdatis. But early on, he found himself on the back foot. Brilliant pickup from Bagdatis. A set behind, Goffin knew he needed to raise his game, and he seemed to be back on track as he claimed the second set to force a decider. The quality of the hitting by now was of an extremely high standard, none more so than on match point, with neither player giving an inch. In an epic 41-stroke rally, eventually it was Goffin who went long to make it a third straight first-round exit in Rotterdam. Oh, yes. my! One of the most amazing match points you will ever see. And Marcos Bagdatis has Six taken one, out five, the fourth seven, seed. Seven, the final match of the day pitted Wiley campaigner Tommy Robredo against Slovakia's Martin Klijan. Last week, Klijan made the semi-finals in Sofia, and he brought some of that form to the fore as he blitzed his way through the first set. Oh, that's huge. Despite Rob Bredo taking the match all the way, Klijan's booming forehand was finding its range. Again, Klijan. And in just over two hours, it was the Slovakian left-hander who registered the victory. Again, and seals it in style. It was a good performance from Martin Klijan. He will be delighted to book his place in the second round here in Rotterdam. Earlier in the day, big serving Luxembourger Gilles Muller took care of Andreas Seppi in three sets. Muller will be hoping to recapture last year's form when he reached the quarter-finals in Rotterdam. Germany's Philipp Kohlschreiber hadn't lost to Julian Beneteau in five previous encounters. And he kept that streak alive as he triumphed over the Frenchman in straight sets. 6-4, 6-4. The top seed for the tournament, France's Richard Gasquet, was due to begin his campaign tomorrow. However, owing to an injury sustained in his victory in Montpellier, Gasquet had to withdraw from the event, opening up the draw still further. It was a back problem, but now it's, uh, it's more on the ground. And uh, yeah, I need to, to rest. Uh, we will see, but... Uh, I don't want to play, uh, if I'm not 100% here, I prefer to retire.